got him. He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's good. Ready to go. Come here, fella. Get in there. There you go. Today I'm going to school, but not for maths or science. I'm actually going with one of the teachers, Richard. Now you're a you're a different kind of teacher. Now what are you all about? All right. Well, Ocean Life Education is all about taking live marine animals into the schools, primary schools, preschools, daycare centres, letting the kids interact with them, see why they uh, feel and look the way they do, mm -hmm. find out what their job is in the environment, and by knowing all this, maybe we'll have a better chance of uh, looking after them in the future. Marine life in the school, that is crazy. Are we running to time? Absolutely. We have about uh, half an hour to go, and we're, uh, we'll be right on okay. the job. Okay, let's keep packing then. It's time to pack up and roll out. We've got kids to see. I've never been one to say no to a free wildlife lesson, so I'm going to sit in on this one too. Is that all right, guys? Can I do this? Oh. It's very different. That's why it's in that group of animals called echinoderms. That's why we don't call it a star fish anymore. We call it a sea star. What do we call it? Sea star. All right. Usually, you'd have to go to an aquarium or be in the ocean to see these critters. But with Richard, you never know what's coming out next. I wonder if he has an elephant seal in one of those containers. So they used the shell of an animal like a mollusk, like a snail that's died and gone away, to poke that soft tail up inside to protect it. And then they lift their body up inside there and walk around using that shell as a new home. It's a great job doing this, taking the animals around to the kids. There is a fair bit of work behind it, looking after the animals at home, um, ensuring they've always got good, clean water, looking after their environment, feeding them. So uh, there is a, a fair bit of background work to do, but, um, but the rewards at the end are worth it. When he wants to grow, he's got to get out of that exoskeleton. There will crack will happen along down the back of his, along the back of it, along the top surface. He'll climb, climb out backwards, out of that old shell, out of that old skeleton. Richard, what a fun job. Do you enjoy it as much as it seems? Uh, have a ball. It's fantastic. Taking the live animals out to the kids, just seeing them absorb all the information uh, and them having fun, great stuff. Yeah. Now, what do you hope that the kids take home from it? Obviously not the animals. No, but... no. Well, the, the fact that they learn about the animals, they understand why they live where they live and what their role is in the environment, they're taking that home. They're the ones that understand uh, what their job is. They are the future of looking after our environment. Great. Well, I enjoyed the presentation. I'm going to find out what the kids thought. All right. Um, I like the sea cucumbers because they were all squishy. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like having a pat? <laughs> yeah. Now, what about you? Did you pick up any important messages? Oh, uh, not to throw your rubbish in the water. Because the turtles can eat it and they die. Big time. Big time. Very important. And what about you? What did you learn today? Um, well, like, when the sea cucumbers, when they eat the sand, um, they, like, it comes out the other end. Yeah, that's kind of gross, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So out of ten, what would you give the presentation? Ten. Ten. Awesome. All right, boys, how did you find the presentation? Yeah, yeah it was good. Really good. Not too bad. There's a lot to take in. What did you learn, mate? I learned that the bamboo shark has lots of different sensors, and one of the sensors is called Ampullae of Lorenzini. Ampullae of Lorenzini. Yeah. Man, you did really well to remember that. That is a freaky sense, too. What was your favourite? I'm um, the sea urchin. Yeah? I learned that they move around on their spines and spikes, and that. They use the spikes for self-defence. Nice one, nice one. And how about Richard's presentation style? Did he get top marks? Yeah, it was brilliant. He just did everything right and he should come back again sometime. <laughs> cool. Well, what can I say? He's won us over. Get on you, Richard. You're doing a bang-up job for marine life. Keep up the good work. Okie dokie, I've got an email here from Blaze who wants to know a little bit about penguins. Is it the mum or the dad that looks after the egg until it hatches? Well, Blaze, it kind of depends on the species. Most of the time, it's a shared job. Once a mother has laid the egg, she heads to the ocean for food, while in the meantime, the dad incubates the egg between his legs. Then just before the egg hatches, the mother returns and relieves the male so he can go for a feed. And depending on the species, it can take anywhere from 30 to 66 days for the egg to hatch. Make sure you stick around, guys. After the break, plenty more TW coming your way. <laughs>